Hi Paul, it's Harry at GC Motors. As promised, just gonna do a quick video of the Nissan GTR. I just thought I would start in the uh, in the showroom, give you a little idea about the sort of things that we've got in at the moment. It's always nice to see. That particular one there is a Ferrari F12 and Largo Novatec. So it's a pretty special car, only one of 11 in the world. So it's nice to see. A few McLarens at the back, a couple of Porsches. Gardo, Spider Perfomonte. So, just taking you outside to the car. As I explained to you over the phone during our conversations, we do prepare our cars to a really, really high standard here at GC Motors. Again, we, we did invest over a million pounds in a body shop um, just to make sure that any little bits that might need doing on a car are done to the highest possible standards. Now, this car has needed very, very, very little. Uh, it's been very, very well cared for. As you expect with its mileage, it's only done just over 13,000 miles. So in terms of the paint work, we do guarantee no scratches, no dents in the bodywork. Um, we potentially have the odd stone chip here and there, which you're gonna have on any used vehicle. You're never gonna change the original paint for the odd stone chip. But as you can see in the video, it's, uh, it's really minor anything that, like that that you will have um, I mean looking on there there are one or two very very small chips I mean if you're looking this far away a couple of inches from the paintwork you'll spot them but here you'll never see them that's just a bit of polish just on the, the inner part there's a little stone chip there that was touched in a little one there if it will focus it was touched in but again any further back you'll never see them and again those white bits that's just polish just on the uh, on the rubber parts on the inside there the car looks absolutely fantastic in red with your grey anthracite wheels and accents on the, the body panels with your vents and your lower splitters on the wheels Again, we do guarantee no curb curb marking on any of the alloy wheels. And um, obviously, these these uh, wheels are are powder coated. So if we did need to do them, which we haven't needed to, but if we did, uh, we do have powder coating facilities on site. Um, again, just to make sure that everything is finished to the highest possible standard. In terms of brakes, don't know if you can see in there. There's plenty on the pads on this. Exterior condition on the car is absolutely lovely. You can tell this car's been well cared for inside and out. Do have keys in here. There we go. So you can see on these strips even, you can see the uh, the protective plastic is uh, is still on them. You see the, the corner lifted there. So from new, that hasn't even been removed. I'll be honest, on the interior of this car, it's a dangerous thing to say that any used car feels like new. It does give the wrong impression sometimes. Every used car has the odd little bit of wear that you can see, but I'll be honest, on this car, it does feel borderline brand new in here. You can see on the bolsters, these are the normal areas of wear, as you probably well know. There's no fraying in the stitching. There's slight creasing in the, in the leather on there, but realistically, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't even notice it. The carpets are all lovely and plush still. Obviously, you do have the bow sound systems in these. That steering wheel, which we'll have a closer look at in a moment. Just see down there you do have a bit of paint protection film just on that bottom corner just to stop any stone chips obviously all-wheel drive and all that power you do get the odd one flicking up again no marks on the wheels tires do have plenty of tread if you can make that out there but it does have absolutely plenty on there That iconic legendary look 
know exactly what this car is when you come up behind it. This kind of power, not many things will be. Again, you have had the Litchfield Stage 1, so part of that is, uh, is the exhaust system, which is a Miltec fitted exhaust. You can see that it's been done by Litchfield with their branding just under that GTR badge. rear parking sensors I hope the video is doing this car justice because it really is a beautiful example of this ball another unmarked wheel there on there I thought I'd found something but no just a bit of polish I'm still comfortable in saying this car is absolutely fantastic condition so a good look together around the outside of the car on the bonnet very small stone ship that has been touched touched in and flattened back there Again, if you're trying to find them, you'll see the odd one. But without looking with a magnifying glass, you're never going to see those. So let's jump into the interior. Again, everything feeling really new. Again, bolsters usual areas you've got a little bit of wear just on there which I think realistically is probably the only real sign of any real wear in the car which you take that all day long and again you've still got the protective films still on there you can see there's a little sticker in there I think one of its services 17 so steering wheel obviously part of this is is the Alcantara which I don't know if you've ever had any Alcantara before on a steering wheel but in most cases they do turn to leather unfortunately pretty quickly um, it's just a, a natural characteristic of it but this is still really furry really plush still Feels really nice. Just start rumbling into life there. So on your screen, you'll have probably done your research, I will imagine, and um, already having one of the uh, the previous skylines you'll know all about these various functions on here about the, the, the different parts you can you can see on this screen so you've got acceleration you've got braking you've got steering all your g-force meters your gears it's probably the last screen you're going to want to look at in these <laughs> fuel economy it's the usual bits in there which you'll no doubt be used to and all some of these are custom so you can update these to what you want to see all your navigation functions in there and the usual radio auxiliary and bluetooth bits on there as well no phone connected at the moment but we'll get you connected on that and you've got your various functions for your radio and your music and obviously your, your air conditioning bits and all your switches for your diffs your suspension power chain and, and, and traction settings on there so snow at this time of the year always handy if you want to go into the fast modes everything up into R again with the Litchfield tune everything's been sort of tightened up just to get the best possible performance unleash those extra little bits out of this engine and, and those guys really know what they're doing with this stuff I 
the best in the business. Obviously a stop start button, locking wheel nuts. Some of your USB input, power inputs. That bow subwoofer in the centre. And plenty of space for your rear passengers as well. In the back, again everything to be fair, I had a little look in the back of here. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever been sat in to be honest. Just feels like, feels like a new car, I'll be honest, it does feel like a new car. I won't rev it just now, just because it's not quite hot enough and you want to make sure that these cars are warmed up. Um, but if you do want a little video just to hear any, hear the noise of this thing, we're we'll more than happy to warm it up for you and do a little video of, uh, of the rear of the car so you can you can hear its noise if uh, if you are interested in that just let me know but i hope that helps give you a bit more of a better overview of the condition of the car and again thank you ever so much for your inquiry i'll send this video over and we'll catch up soon thanks again